Today, we are going to discuss about top seven best smart glasses and AR specs available in the market. Through extensive research, we have tested dozens of products and bring the top seven best smart glasses and AR specs for you. For price of these smart glasses and AR specs, check the links in description below. For more videos, subscribe this channel and press bell icon to support our efforts. Let's get start. Number 7. Ingo Eyewear Ingo might not be a household name in the tech space, but it's managed to build these sporty glasses for runners, cyclists, and triathletes that are capable of projecting real-time stats onto an ANOLED microdisplay planted into photochromic lenses. That data comes through the ability to pair it up to devices including Garmin watches, bike sensors like power meters, and smartphones. That can include distance covered, speed, power, and heart rate. You can also tinker with data screens to make sure you see the data you care about most when you're out running or riding. There are even gesture controls to let you change screens with a wave of the hand, all backed up by 12 hours of battery life and 100% UV protection to make sure your eyes are guarded when you're training out in the glorious sunshine. The kind of glasses we've outlined above are very much about offering up displays in front of our eyes, but there is also the emergence of other connected specs that have different ideas. Some want to replace your camera or your fitness tracker. Here's the best of the bunch. Number 6. Magic Leap 1 The startup raised big investor bucks, pulled in high-profile investors, and after finally launching its Magic Leap 1 AR goggles back in 2018, it's now followed Microsoft in focusing on enterprise customers. The Magic Leap 2 has now also been released, but it's the Leap 1 that's easier to get hold of. At the heart of the Android-based setup is something Magic Leap calls digital light field technology. Similar to what HoloLens uses, the Leap 1 glasses can overlay digital 3D graphics onto your view of the real world via a headset with transparent lenses. Images are displayed at 1280x960 resolution per eye with a 40x30 degree field of view, helping you feel immersed in that augmented world. The AR eyewear also includes four built-in microphones to support spatial audio to blend sounds from virtual virtual objects and real-world objects. The glass is attached to a computer attachment via a wire to a light pack that can be clipped to the back of your trousers or slipped into a pocket. Six external cameras are packed in to track your position and movement, and a six DOF controller offers haptic feedback and the ability to track nine different hand gestures as well tracking finger movement. There are currently Magic Leap 1, Developer Suite, and Enterprise Suite options to choose from, and unsurprisingly, it doesn't come cheap if you want to spend some time with the AR goggles. As mentioned, there's now also the $3,299 Magic Leap 2, which offers an improved 70-degree field of view. However, given that they've only just become available to consumers. Number 5. Microsoft HoloLens 2 Microsoft's holographic, augmented reality wearable is more of a headset than a pair of smart glasses, but it's arguably the device that has stirred the most buzz about a bright AR future. Into its second generation, Microsoft has switched its focus to the workplace, pairing the visor with large large high-definition lenses that use a projection system to create multi-dimensional full-color images at up to 2 resolution with low latency. The field of view is now 43x29 degrees to a big improvement on the original HoloLens, offering an immersive experience similar to what's offered by the Magic Leap 1 below. It's also packed with advanced sensors like ambient light and four environment sensing cameras that can figure out what you're doing and what environment you're in. All of that information is processed by the second generation version of its custom HPU, holographic processing unit, mapping everything out in real time and with six DOF tracking to offer precision room scale tracking. There are also microphones and cameras to capture video and audio, and the tech on board can also track hands and eyes to make for a fully immersive experience. Microsoft also includes its mixed reality capture feature to take images that capture both augmented and physical worlds in view. Like the first generation, it's fit to run for two to three hours off a single charge. Over the years, Microsoft has showcased a host of different use cases for its high specs AR headset, and we wait to see if it has any intentions to make this one for the masses. Right now, it's one that's fully made for the workplace. Number 4. Lenovo Think Reality A3 These Lenovo smart specs were unveiled way back in January 2021 and are made to be on the faces of people at work, whether that's in a lab or in a shop. When connected to a Motorola smartphone, the chunky-looking A3 Glasses Project Stereoscopic 1080 resolution displays and can offer support for working or viewing up to five virtual displays. That's all powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR1 platform to deliver that augmented experience. The frames on the glasses can be modified to make them better
better suited to working environments where you need a more robust design, and it also finds room for an 8 megapixel RGB camera for shooting video. There's a pair of fisheye cameras to offer 6 do of 6 degrees of freedom tracking, which means it can track head movement and rotation. It also offers room scale tracking here too. If you want a pair for enterprise purposes, you're going to have to spend a sizable $1,500 to get them on your face. Number 3. Snap Spectacles AR 4th Gen Snap Spectacles AR is a bit of a different beast from what we've seen before from the company, and it sees it jump from smart glasses to AR specs for the first time. Under the hood, there's Qualcomm's Snapdragon XR1 processor powering performance, which is designed for AR devices. The field of view is just 26.3 degrees, but the Snap Spatial Engine allows for 6 degrees of freedom, which enable you to move around and the visuals overlay in your space. There are also two RGB cameras and a touchpad on the arms and it weighs just 134 grams. However, you only get 30 minutes of battery life. The Snap Spectacles aren't going on sale to general customers and are instead being offered to developers and Snap creators to figure out what they can best be used for. Well over a year since their initial arrival though, and we've not heard anything significant about them. Number 2. Vuzix Blade Upgraded The Vuzix Blade Upgraded replaced North Focals as our top pick some time ago, since the latter is now no longer available to buy. The best way to describe them is that they're a lot like the first generation of smartwatches. They're a good first step at getting a lot of advanced tech in a decent package, but there's still work to do. The new upgraded version sticks to largely the same design, but adds in an 8 megapixel camera, speakers, and Vuzix's voice control support. The Blay uses Wavagai technology to project a full color HD display over the right lens. They are the first pair of really useful commercial AR glasses that actually look like a pair of glasses, in our view. They're not Oakley's or Ray bands, but they don't scream, look at me, I'm technology like some other smart glasses do. When we first got to try the standard version out, the Vuzix app store wasn't exactly brimming with apps. We got to try out things like music control, a camera, an image viewer, and some games. Since then, some high-profile names have turned up. There's now Netflix, Zoom, Amazon Alexa, and even support for DJI drones. The display is really good, and even the photos look crisp and vibrant. There's also 4 gigabytes of storage to fill up with what you want. As for battery life, we were able to get around 3 to 4 hours. The Blade AR is one of the best moves toward mainstream AR glasses we've seen yet. The best bit? Vuzix has worked to lower the price down to well below $1,000 slash £1,000, just like it said it would. The Blade has recently been joined by the Vuzix Shield 2, which are specs firmly aimed at enterprise customers with micro-LED projectors, wireless connectivity with smartphones, and the ability to control by sound and voice. The Blade, though, remains the pair that are a little easier to get hold of and they're more affordable. Number 1. Ray-Ban Stories The Ray-Ban Stories, a collaboration with luxury eyewear brand Essilor Luxottica and Meta, pack dual cameras to capture and share first-person shot videos, and also include speakers and microphones to listen to music and handle phone calls. There's no AR here. It's a mix of what we've seen on Snap Spectacles and a host of audio sunglasses that have surfaced over the last few years. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg has said that the Ray-Ban partnership is destined to yield AR specs in the future. As part of Project Area, the Ray-Ban stories pack in 5 megapixel cameras, which are activated by a button that sits on the side of the frame. A single tap records up to 30 seconds of video, while a tap and hold will snap a picture. There are also hand-free controls, letting you make use of onboard microphones to say, hey, Facebook, take a video if you don't want to reach up to your specs. When you're recording or taking pictures, a small LED situated near the camera illuminates to indicate to those around you that you are in recording or snapping mode. There's a switch to turn them off too, which will also turn off speakers and microphones. On the listening front, the stories feature two open-ear speakers to handle listening to audio playing from your phone or handling calls. All of that tech is being wrapped up in some familiar Ray-Ban frames, which include the iconic Wayfarer and should only add 5 grams over a non-smart pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarer glasses. There are 20 style variations, and they also support prescription lenses. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If you have any questions related to the products we listed here, leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can.